relatives, friends, and the McVay class of 2023. How lucky we are today. Congratulations to all of you. Before we get started, just some housekeeping items. If we could please turn our devices to the silence mode. We ask that you also please stay seated at all times so that the people behind you can see. We do have a professional photographer who will be taking photos of each graduate as they receive their diploma on each side. So you will have a professional photo, which will probably get to you maybe within the next 48 hours. It won't be instantaneous. It takes a little bit of time. But you are free to take camera shots from where you are. We also are live streaming the ceremony and that video will be available as well. And afterward, we're going to ask for your cooperation to help us get the gym set up for photos since the outdoor option is no longer available. So at this time, we are ready to begin our ceremony. Would our color guard pre please present the colors? Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.
Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. you Maybe see. You. Graduates, I remember many, if not most of you, in kindergarten when you were the littlest children in our building. And seeing your faces a couple years later behind masks during the pandemic, I can remember being super nervous, super duper nervous. Nervous that I might not recognize all the children just by their eyes. I was stressed out. And so I had to work on that, get into school and figure out how to figure all the students in our school just by their eyes. And here we are today, years later. You have overcome many obstacles. We have overcome many obstacles. And you have grown into spectacular young ladies and gentlemen. I and we are so very proud of you. You have truly become mighty kind, mighty bonds. Before we continue, it's imperative that we thank some very special people that have brought your children and you, so your children and all of you, to this point. Team five is what I call them, and they are your outstanding team of grade five teachers. They are Ms. Cirillo, Ms. Conklin, Ms. Turnbull, Mr. Carlin, Mr. Prisco, Ms. Pariti, and Mrs. Edwards. <laughs> Hats off to all of you. We are so grateful to our special area teachers as well. They are Ms. Hoskin, Ms. Flaherty, Ms. Smalios, Ms. Shehinian, Mr. Hanlon, Ms. O'Regan, Mr. Leonard, Ms. Kelly, Ms. McNamee, Ms. O'Neill, and Ms. Reed. They too have been a special part of the experience. And then there are all the support staff, reading and map and other areas that are members of Team McVeigh that have also been a part of your journey here. We are grateful to them too. And finally, I'd like to thank some peripheral yet integral team members. The PTA, who's also here, our custodial staff, and our graduation committee, to whom we owe a debt of gratitude for all they did throughout your years and to make this day special. Thank you to all of you. And this 
year, we have some graduates from the McVeigh team. From the class of 2023, we have three teachers who are leaving Team McVeigh with over combined 100 years of teaching. We are going to miss them too. We would like to congratulate the graduates from Team McVeigh for the class of 2023 sitting in our front row. This is Paula Cano, this is Art, and Ms. Hattie. I heard some feedback from the Verde staff from the dance. They commented on how respectful, well-behaved, and kind we were. They were very impressed, and rightly so. You are a wonderful group. But as we talk about every morning on the announcements, each one of you is spectacular as an individual. Everything about you is different than anybody else, and that is a beautiful thing. So as you look back on your time here, I'm sure you recall many fantastic days. We had barbecue, bingo, field day, tie-dye day recently, May Madness. But you'll forget the hamburger and chips. You won't remember the hot dog. What you will remember is the people. It is people that make things special. Not winning. Nobody will remember who won the water race. But you will remember your classmates. People are what make things special. And each of you is a beautiful entity in a dynamic force, our class of 2023. So to that end, I give this advice every year at graduation. I encourage you to remember the words of Mr. Cushman at Obie's graduation. He quoted Henry Ward Beecher as he spoke of an exceptional student. He said, it is not the nature of kindness, but the nature of one's kindness. The power of one's friendship, the test of one's character, and the strength of one's courage that matters. Courage, kindness, friendship, character. These are the qualities that define us as human beings and propel us on occasion to greatness. There is no yardstick for measuring greatness, but, he continued, greatness lies in being strong. but in the correct use of that strength. He or she is the greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts. I'm gonna say that again. He or she is greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts. So while there are many things going on in our lives and in the world, things seem complicated and they will. There's one thing that's very simple. Kind is blind. It does not see color, gender, religion, nationality, or anything divisive. If we were to create kindness in an equation, it would be an increaser. It would multiply, not divide. It would add and not subtract. That is very important. Be blind with your kind completely limitless, afforded to everyone, lift up as many hearts as you can. Measure your greatness by what you give, not that which you have. Use your power, the force of all of you, to pave a path of kindness wherever you go. And speaking of such, parents, if you didn't know this, this year we did pave a path of kindness out in front of our building this spring and the class of 2023 contributed to that path by each painting a rock leading to our garden of kindness and their rocks are around the perimeter of that garden each of you helped create that path 
Now you need to pave that path in your own life. So always navigate your own path with kindness and be colorful. So as you move on to middle school, I'm always reminded of a poem about the dash. I'll explain that. It's a long poem, but I'm only going to give you a little part of it. It says, it matters not what you own, the stuff, the clothes, the cash. What matters most is how you live and love and how you spend your dash. So as you move to middle school, you're going to be there from 2023 to 2026, and it will say 2023 dash 2026. And eventually, you will have a dash for high school, 2026 dash 2030. What will you do during that dash? So that dash will represent everything that you do in middle school, high school, and beyond. What will you do during that time? Will you spend it playing video games or will you get involved? Will you join a club, make a new friend, maybe volunteer? How will you spend your dash? It's yours. You have to make the most of it. So join clubs, get involved, make a new friend. Grow yourself every single day. Finally, you have filled the hearts of Ms. Minerva, your parents, your relatives, and me with great laughter, fun, and many, many moments. We want to thank you for being a mighty kind, mighty mind. We've loved every moment we have had with you, and we hope that you will come back and visit. As you leave McVeigh, remember our school rules. What we didn't tell you in kindergarten, we're telling you now, they're really about life. So, be active, but always have body control. Be a bucket filler, choose kind. Do the right thing, even when no one is looking. These are great life rules. And of course, every day is a great day to get smart, and be kind to both each other and the earth. You follow your school rules. From this day forward, things will go well. Good luck in middle school, and always remember your home here. You're always welcome at McVeigh. You are members of the McVeigh family, and we love you all. Congratulations to class of 2023. You are limitless, be unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on to the program at graduation, there are some special awards that are given out. And today, to present our superintendent's award, we have with us our assistant business administrator, Ms. Jennifer Placenta, to present the superintendent's award to two members of the class of 2023. Ms. Placenta. parents, guests, and of course, the McVeigh class of 2023. I would like to take a moment to thank Ms. Dunn and Mr. Minerva for giving me the opportunity to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments. I wish all of you well next year as you embark on the next chapter at Woodland Middle School. We have high hopes for you, believe in you, and you have made us all proud. The Superintendent's Award is presented to two students for academic achievement who are exemplary in their level of school participation and in their demonstration of leadership and citizenship. This year, the Superintendent's Award goes to Agamvir Burke. Similar 
similar to the superintendent's award, there are two other awards given out. The Robert Weeble Award, granted to two students, students each year for their academic performance, as well as their commitment to both service and kindness at McVeigh. This year, our two winners are Adrian Chen. <laughs> Noah Delgado. In addition, each year there's a district awards assembly that is set aside for particular awards, mostly at the secondary level, but at that assembly, at the district awards assembly, four students from each elementary school are recognized for their humanitarian qualities. It's called the Humanitarian Award. It's a district level award. But this year, because of the wildfires and the air quality alerts, that was canceled. So this morning, we will recognize Humanitarian Award winners from McVeigh here. So we have four. First, Sophia Bonilla. <laughs> Sienna Valentine. presenting our awards. We will be going in a different order than typical. We're going to start with room 105 this year. So my friends, as you come up to receive your awards, you're going to stand the way you just saw your classmates doing so, so you can take a photo to have forever. We're also going to ask for parents to please hold their applause until all the students have been called. Thank you. So we will begin presentation of diplomas with class 105, Mr. Carlo. Good morning. Will my class please stand? Alec Achan. Mohammed Ahmed. Veronica Arias. Jeremy Calderon. Brianna Chung.
Xavier Chu. Anthony Coppola. Alexandra Facenda. Adriana Ferguson. Alessandro Garcia. Gabriel Godino. Alex Govea. Halima Hasnak. Isaiah Joshua. Emmanuel Coronas. Keegan Love O'Keefe. Adeem Mamoun. Matthew Macharski. Sydney Monez. Anna J. Lynn Morales. Peter Morris. Agnes Hanneker. Abir So. Ralphie Tomio. Rhea Varghese. Juliana Whitehurst. Congratulations, you may be seated. Remain standing until all names have been called. Alec Chan, Veronica Arias, Anthony Coppola, Isaiah Joshua, Anna J. Lynn Morales. These students are the recipients of the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement. Congratulations to you all.
Will the following students please stand when I call their name? Please remain standing until all names have been called. Brianna Chung, Keegan Love O'Keefe, Agnes Panniker, Ralphie Tomeo, Rhea Varghese. These students are the recipients of the Mighty Mind Effort Award. Congratulations to you. You may now be seated. I'd now like to turn it over to Ms. Cirillo. Dean Ali Sayed. Sophia Bonilla. Maria Capagnola. Noah Delgado. <laughs> Reed Dillon. <laughs> Lily Dolger. Tina Jambazi. <coughs> Ashlyn Finn. <coughs> Jack Norcower. Leslie Reyes Maldonado. <laughs> Muhammad Nee. Sophia Olivares. Jake Prasad. Azelda Ragev. Bryce Rodriguez. Fahad Soad. Ahian Sadiq. Sing. Lila 
Smith. Madeline Teamsma. Miles Tobin. Julian Tahovsky. Madison Viveros. Vivian Wong. Ida Yilmaz. Congratulations, boys and girls. You may now be seated. <laughs> the following students, please stand when I call their name. Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Reed Dillon, Sophia Oliveras, Miles Tobin, Julian Zahavsky, Muhammad Naim, Lily Dolger. These students are the recipients of the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Will the following students please stand when I call their name. Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Altina Jambazi, Lila Smith, Sophia Bonilla, Madison Viveros, Vivian Wong, Madeline Teamsma. These students are the recipients of the Mighty Mind Effort Award. Please stand. <laughs> Angela Anu Marmon. Braden Baker. Jody Benikin. Camilla Carpio. Aries Faraz. Isabella Garon. Donovan Giordano. Ashley Gopal. Robert Carroll.
Millen Caravilla. Hannah Malone. Gianna Mangeli. Anderson Martina Santa Maria. Liam Mendoza. Lucas Silberwitz. Thomas Tahovsky. Montserrat Tercios Herrera. Pablo Ukuna. Nicole Vargas. Julia Varghese. Agumbir Ver. Yarek Zavalo Silva. Quintus Zhang. Congratulations, boys and girls. You may now be seated. <laughs> Will the following students please stand when I call their name? Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Angela Anu Maman, Donovan Giordano, Gianna Mundjali, Montserrat Tercios Herrera, and Quintus Zhang. These students are the recipients of the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement. Congratulations to all of you. Will the following students please stand when I call their name? Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Jody Benica, Roderick Carroll, Anderson Martinez Santa Maria, Liam Mendoza, Lucas Sibowitz, and Thomas Tahovsky. These students are the recipients of the Mighty Mind Effort Award. Congratulations to all of them. I'd like to thank the students. 
understand. Victoria Romeo Ruiz. Sophia Wheelis. Krista Cardenas Oriana. Angela Chen. Casey Colorado. Mallory Deeks. Lena Dom. Lena Fada. Oh, sorry, Eva Fada. I told the kids I'll mess up just once. <laughs> Carter Fitzsimons. Ashley Flores. Zane Garcia. Benjamin Herrera. Olivia Labruna. Maxima Yanos. Mohit Mughal. Nicholas Pastore. Nicholas Santos. Kyla Shea. Brian Steinhaus. Ava Ugaldi. Sienna Valentine. Damien Vasquez.
Abir Yassir. Andy Zhang. <coughs> Wilson Zhang. Congratulations, boys and girls. <laughs> are the recipients of the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement. Congratulations to our <laughs> Will the following students please stand when I call their name. Please remain standing until the names have been called. Victoria Bermeo Ruiz, Lena Dong, Benjamin Herrera, Kyla Shea, Sienna Valentine, Abir Yassir. These students are the recipients of the Mighty Mind Effort Award. Congratulations to the Mighty Mind Effort Well, my class, please stand. Emmanuel Ariola. Alexis Ahan. Devin Berkowitz. Phoenix Bonilla. Jillian Berner. Adrian Chen. Kylie Chen. <laughs> Sophia DeBoard. Jaden Dos Santos. Peyton Gorman. Alan Guanon Giuseppe. Lely Higuchi. Isan Kazmi. Lillian Lau.
Riley Lynn. Ava Lynn. Myra Boza. Robert McArdle. Ava Michelle. Azim Nawala. Sanan Osgar. Joel Rodriguez. Aiden Singh. Don Singh Soki. Eric Zhang. Congratulations, boys and girls. You may now be seated. Will the following students please stand when they call their names? Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Alexis Ahan, Jaden Dos Santos, Levi Iguchi, Isan Kazmi, Don Sang Soki, and Eric Zeng. These students are the recipients of the Principal's Award for Academic Achievement. Congratulations to all of you. You may now be seated. Will the following students please stand when I call their name? Please remain standing until all the names have been called. Emmanuel Ariola, Devin Berkowitz, Phoenix Bonina, Kylie Chen, Robert McCardle, Aiden Singh. These students are the recipients of the Mining Mind Effort Award. Congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2023. Each year, the graduating class from East Meadow High School, so all of our seniors that were here yesterday that got a clap out in our onward and upward clap out celebration, receive scholarship awards when they graduate East Meadow High School from the PTA. To tell you more about those awards and to share some words with the class of 2023, I'd like to invite our PTA co-presidents, Ms. Ramnarine, Ms. Reinhardt, to the podium. Everyone, my name is Jennifer Reinhardt. My name is Amy Ramnarine. I'm 
we thank you to, for inviting us this morning to speak today on behalf of McVeigh PTA. We would like to take a few moments to offer our congratulations to these remarkable students sitting before you to say we are proud is truly an understatement. As you leave this wonderful school and embark on your exciting new chapters in middle school, you do so with the foundation you have built here at McVeigh. The key components being good citizenship, kindness, and compassion. You have challenged yourselves in so many ways and have risen to every challenge that has been presented to you with grace and determination. You have each made a lasting impression in this school and on all those who walk these halls. As a McVeigh graduate myself, I can tell you firsthand that you take a piece of McVeigh with you wherever you go. We will miss you next year, but wish you nothing but the best as you continue to work hard and do incredible things. To all of you wonderful parents, thank you for your support through the years. We couldn't do what we do without any of you. To the fifth grade committee, thank you for making this year an easy one. It was a pleasure working side by side with you to make this last year of elementary school a fantastic one for your kids. To our graduates, we will miss seeing your faces in the hallway and at every PTA event. It was an honor to watch you grow over the years. I know most of you by name, but I know most of you by your favorite icy flavor. Spoiler alert, it's the blue one. <laughs> On your first day of Woodland, please remember these few things. Corey the Dribbler taught you that if you set a goal, you can achieve it, and to always surround yourself with positive people. Jerry Campbell taught you to be responsible for your own words and actions. And Ms. Dunn, Mr. Minerva, and your teachers have always taught you to be mighty kind, mighty minds. Each year, the McVeigh PTA awards scholarships to past graduates. Here are your 2023 honorees. For the Mighty Kind Award, it was presented to a graduating senior who has established a pattern of being mighty kind to all people they encounter in any situation. This honor is bestowed upon a person who grows from mistakes and helps others do the same. This year's scholarship is awarded to Eric Melillo. The Mrs. Veronica O'Donnell Scholarship, this award, was established in 2016 for a student pursuing a nursing career. Ms. O'Donnell was a beloved school nurse at McVeigh for many years. She was my school nurse. She had a way with words and dealing with her frequent flyers. I might have been one of them. <laughs> um, she, was an active, she was active in both our church and our community. She will be forever remembered in the hearts of all who knew her. This year's recipient, recipient of this award is Dakota Hero. The Harry Ayosa Scholarship. Harry Ayosa was a former principal of McVeigh from 1976 to 1987. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Sam Parker. The Janice Dorfman Scholarship. This award was established in 1997 in memory of Janice Dorfman, who was a reading teacher and fought a long battle with ALS. The recipient of the scholarship went to Christina Gentile. The Christine Sklarski Scholarship. This award was established in 2009. Mrs. Sklarski was a reading specialist. This year's recipient was Megan Hand. The Kelly Silverberry Scholarship. This award was established in 2009. Mrs. Silverberry was a lunch monitor that the children adored. This year's recipient was Antonio Zampini. We would once again like to congratulate everyone here today, both parents and kids. Here's to you, McVeigh class of 2023. Thank you to our PTA and for all that you do, not only for the class of 2023, but all of our students. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to call our music staff board. So Ms. Malios, Ms. Kelly, Ms. McNamee, and Ms. Shahinian to present our music awards for graduation. sharing it with others is quite simply an act of bravery. All are to be commended. 
From this talented group, we would like to recognize three students to receive the William Hoffman Music Award for their outstanding musical efforts. These three students have not only demonstrated outstanding music ability, but have also did also have great dedication to our ensembles and grit to develop their craft. They have been an integral part of the musical events at the school from their participation in band, orchestra, chorus, all county, NISMA, jazz bands, and chamber orchestra. These three students are exemplary music students with exceptional practice habits and serve as role models to their classmates. We know they will continue to, to make music an important part of their lives as they continue throughout middle and high school. We proudly present this award to our McVeigh Mighty Musicians for band, Eva Fado, for orchestra, Olivia LaBruna, and for chorus, Sanam Oscar. Thank you and congratulations. At this time, I'd like to call for our student council president, Lucas Silverwitz. and happy Thursday. My name is Lucas Schulwitz and I am your student council president. Today I would like to say congratulations to all students graduating fifth grade and it's been a fantastic year filled with great times and fond memories on the way. In kindergarten you're all confused thinking what elementary school would be like, will I make new friends? Well look at us now, we're graduating fifth grade. I would like to thank Ms. Stone, Ms. Minerva, and the Midway PTA for putting together events like our school assemblies, the Halloween Howl, book fairs, holiday boutiques, field trips, the barbecue, May Madness, and Field Day. All of these events made our years at McBay unforgettable. Let's start off with kindergarten, where we went to see plays about books we read, went pumpkin picking, and made new friends. In first grade, we went to Theodore Roosevelt's house. In second grade, we started off the year great and had fun, but then the coronavirus hit and we had to do remote learning for the rest of the year. Although it was challenging, we persevered and found success. In third grade, we started off the year in two groups, Group A and Group B, and in October, we all came to school together, but remote learning was still an option. We had to wear masks the whole year and had separate groups for recess. In fourth grade, we still had to wear masks for half the year, but we didn't have to do remote learning anymore. Fourth grade was great because we went to the Art Museum and went to the aquarium where we had a lot of fun looking at all the different animals and saw the sea lion show. Lastly, fifth grade, where we went on so many field trips like Project Adventure, the Art Museum, the Luna Year Show at the Tilly Center. We also went to watch the London movie at the movie theater and went to Adventure. We rolled all the fun rides and had pizza and ice cream. The bowling alley was another trip that was so much fun. We got yearbooks and were able to get them signed by our friends, past, and current teachers. I would like to thank all the teachers and staff at McVay for producing a fun learning experience and helping us whenever we needed it. I would also like to congratulate all my fellow fifth graders. A big thank you to Ms. Stone and Mr. Minerva for helping us all through our journey at McVay. I wish you all a safe and, summer and fun summer vacation. See you next year in sixth grade and the start of a new chapter of our lives. And remember, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other in Europe. Let's have a wonderful day.
Good afternoon. I'm your vice president, Mohammed Haman Naim. And first off, I would like to congratulate the graduating class of 2023. It has been an honor to be able to work with my best grade friends, especially this year. Everyone has shown me nothing but kindness every day, and I take that for granted every day. As we end our time together, I would like you all to remember this. You can never know the outcome of everything that happens, but we should always be kind no matter what happens. When I stress with classwork, my friends would always help me throughout the problem while showing their kindness. Therefore, I encourage you all to always be kind. I'd also like to thank my teacher, Mr. Olo, who showed me how to become a better person and how to become more responsible. I'd like to thank the staff and faculty who always care about us for field trips, fundraisers, and even just keeping our school clean. McVeigh and my peers taught me how to become a leader, and if they were not supportive, then I would not be here currently. I've learned many things since entering McVeigh, I hope, and I hope to learn more in the future and wish everyone to always be kind and to remember that our destination is not always clear, but our path should always begin and end with kindness. Thank you, Mr. President and Mr. Vice President. that Lucas was holding is the plaque that would be dedicated to McVeigh and positioned on the wall with the other plaques from the other classes. And that was the quote that this class chose. They chose, our destination is not always clear, but our path should always begin and end with kindness. And it certainly should. Now, speaking of service, we have one last award to present, and that is the AAA Safety Patrol Award. This award is given every year at graduation to a student who was in safety patrol, always got to their post on time, and exemplified leadership with the children of, of McVeigh. This is a person who helped children, was a guide, and always was a person that the children could rely on for valuable information and a kind heart. This year, our AAA award winner is Lucas Silverwitz. for you. It's our school song, which was revamped in 2020. The school song will be led by our music teachers, Ms. Smalios and Ms. Shehinian.
In closing, again, we want to congratulate the class of 2023. It's such a bittersweet day for all of us. We're so happy for you, but so sad to see you go. When you move off to middle school, I want you to remember how I felt coming back during COVID. I was nervous and worried and fearful. You might be a little nervous and worried and fearful also. Don't worry, you got this. Middle school is going to be great. You'll walk through those hallways and think, wow, the play was so small. That's what everybody says when they come back. The hallways are so small. There's a big world out there and you're ready for it. We are so proud of you. We love you and we wish you only the best. Congratulations to the class of 2022. to the music, but afterward, we're going to ask that you retrieve your child from their classroom, one parent only, and that the other parent remain here in the gym. During that time, when the other parent is in the gym, we're going to be moving some chairs around, folding some of them up, and setting up some photo opportunities. Then the children will be coming back to the gym to take photos, if you would so like to do, and if not, you are absolutely free to take your child. But nonetheless, the gym will be a little bit chaotic. Just ask you to bear with us if you want the people still in the gym. We will ask you to wait until all the children have left before you head down to their classroom. To our friends, our graduating class of 2023, we have a special refreshment bag waiting for you back in the classrooms, which would have been going to you if we were outside. We had to throw this together very quickly to get it inside, and we really appreciate all of your patience and support with that. So once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. 